as we said, autumn really is in the air now. The cool, the breeze, cool breeze, the changing leaves, and of course, the pumpkin. That is right, and they are on full display at Roger Williams Park Zoo for the Jack O' Lantern Spectacular. And it's back with the in-person walkthrough on display for the first time in two years. Brendan is over there for a live look at what we can expect to see this year. We're going to check in with him now. BK, ooh, shades. Good Whoa, morning, that. mister. <laughs> Well, we all know that I'm not cool, even though I am everyone's favorite fall pumpkin, but that's not why we're here, guys. We are here, as you said, to talk about the return of one of our absolutely favorite events just on the planet. We wait for this all year long, and we couldn't be happier to be here at Roger Williams Park Zoo chatting with Ron Patalano. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Brandon. How are you? I am very well. Nice to see you. It's hard to believe after last year when everything was drive through, we're back to the way things were intended. The walkthrough is back. What do we need to know? Well, hey, look, the, the drive-through is a great filler for us. Um, it allowed us to keep the tradition going last year, but this is a walkthrough event, and it's on our beautiful wetlands trail where it belongs, and we're very excited. Staff is excited. Our partners, Passion for Pumpkin, are excited to have it back where it belongs. That's right, and I know that everyone works all year round, and on the heels of last year, as you alluded to, being a very difficult year, people are thrilled. The excitement is in the air. Things opened up last night, correct, and it runs through Halloween exactly, right? Yep, we had a great opening night, wreck it night, uh, double what we did in 2019. Ticket sales are going fantastic. So if you're coming, get your tickets early. And yes, the show does run through October 31st. And let's talk a little bit about ticket sales. We have to buy them in advance. Tickets have to be purchased online. Um, we will not be offering any ticket purchase at the uh, gate. We're trying to keep our numbers low and, and manage the crowds that are coming in. So yeah, we have to keep, have to purchase tickets online. Even a major television celebrity like myself has to buy them ahead of time. Yeah, I think we can make some exceptions for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too kind to play along, but um, let's talk Ron, about this year's theme. I know everyone always, it, that is one of the challenges, but it's also yeah. part of the yeah. fun of coming up with something unique, yeah. and you've really captured that this year again. We have, and John Reckner has. It's really John who, who comes up with the theme and, and designs the show, what skits are going to go along with it, what pumpkins to support it. But this year is 150 years of music, uh, so you're going to come and you're going to see or hear anything from ragtime to rock and roll to rap, hip-hop, uh, and everything in between. Um, I love the 70s and 80s skits. Uh, get that YMCA going on. Let's <laughs> see a little of that right I'll now. Come on. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> a little later in the show. All right, good. But uh, yeah, there's something for everybody out there, and, and uh, it's a really great show. It, and we, we've all been commenting, the staff, and it's just loaded up with pumpkins. They really upped the game this year. They really wanted to welcome everybody back and make a splash. And the word is appropriate, spectacular, because we're seeing, we've seen some of the footage of how this thing is illuminated at night, and it is absolutely breathtaking. Let's also talk beyond this, what else is coming up at the zoo, zoo, you always have lots of great things happening. Yeah, so what I would urge everybody to do is go to rwpzoo.org and, and there you'll find everything that we have going on in October. We have uh, family friendly nights for jack o lantern Spectacular. Uh, little guys will be able to come in and see princesses and, and superheroes. Uh, October 25th, we have our uh, zoo, um, spooky zoo event um, where we're going to have a lot of treats, maybe a few tricks and a lot of activities. Uh, and then just a reminder that the zoo is open fall and winter, uh, Thursday through Monday from 10 to 4. And again, this would, I want to certainly give a shout out. This would not be uh, pop pos possible without our, our citizens, our sponsor, and all our other great sponsors for the event. It really is so true, and we'll talk with some of them later on. And the thing I love most, Ron, about Spooky Zoo is it means I'm not the creepiest thing in the zoo. True. Uh, yeah, well, I, I don't want to give. A, I don't want to get let the cat out of the bag. But there are going to be some real fun activities, and I, I'm hearing there may be some some sweets on the trail as well. Outstanding. Well, it is always nice to see you, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, we're going to be here all morning long, you guys. Oh, yeah. are you going back to your trailer? <laughs> uh, lots more to come this morning from Roger Williams Park Zoo. Back to you. And welcome back, everybody. Now, as we mentioned at the start of the show, the return of October means. The Halloween season is back at the zoo. That's right. The Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular just kicked off last night, offering visitors a chance to see carved pumpkins uh -huh. in all their glory now through the end of the month. And this year, it's all about 150 years of music. Sounds great. Brendan is there live to get us up close to see what they <laughs> have morning. in store. Good morning, Brendan. <laughs> oh. I've never looked better, have I? <laughs> 
<laughs> Good morning once again, you guys. Yeah, we are here. Roger Williams Park Zoo is the spot. It is the annual Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. There are so many amazing things happening here. The team has been working so hard around the clock to welcome you guys. It all kicked off last night, and it runs appropriately through Halloween. Now, before we get to our second segment guests right here, take a look at this pumpkin right here now. These two you know, Will Gilbert and Michaela Johnson. I love the likenesses right here. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks a little bit like an engagement photo <laughs> right there. But who would be officiating this wedding, you ask? Well, <laughs> how about that guy right there? I have my reverend's license. I'm ready to do it, but that's not why we're here. Let's meet these fine gentlemen. You know John Reckner, of course, and John Conway. Good morning, John. Good morning. Nice good morning. You. John, good morning. Good morning. I love when they have the same name. It's so easy. But, John Reckner, let's talk about the history here. You've been, you know, from the beginning. How excited are you to bring this back once again? Well, I've been doing this for 34 years, so it's always an exciting event. And, and th this year, more than ever, especially on the heels, we were talking with Ron earlier, of what we all went through last year, it must be extra special for you. Well, I think uh, this year, Brandon, the theme to, uh, we're working on the Library of Congress 150 year music history. So we start out in 1864 and work our way into different eras and decades of music. And there really is something for everyone. All those different eras are represented, and it's just a wonder for the senses, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is, and it's a lot of hard work, but uh, we're always up for the task. You sure are, and year after year, John, I'm amazed, for lack of a better word, at how you put this thing all together. Is the, I know it's a challenge, but the challenge is also fun, isn't it, to come up with something that the people love? Definitely, and uh, winter time is a good time to uh, brainstorm on different themes and by February, they need to know, the PR needs to know what the theme is. And then we got the whole summer to do props, and it's an endless task. It? But you do it so well. And John Conway, let's talk about your passion for pumpkins. I know, much like John Reckner here, it's a year-round thing, and I know you love putting this thing together, don't you? I mean, it's just, it's amazing to be a part of something like this, you know, because it, it's special. It really is. And for you, I know, especially on the heels of the last year that we've all gone through, drive through last year, but the fact that it can return to its normal form, people can walk through, you can see the enjoyment, must make it extra fun and interesting and special for you as well. Yeah, doing the drive through was necessary last year, but it's good to get back to our roots and what we do very well. And for you, talk about the challenges of putting this thing together, because I know they're seemingly endless, but somehow you always pull it together. I mean, you say challenge, and I just say fun. I mean, it's great. We have a great crew of people, and it's just a pleasure to work with everyone. Well, it's always nice to see you, gentlemen. We're wishing you a great Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular this year, as every year, and it's just going to be a great, great month, of course. Remember, you've got to get your tickets in advance. That is one of the rules here, and you know me. I'm a stickler for the rules, you guys, so please stay with us. We're going to have much more from Roger Williams Park Zoo. Back to you. This morning in family time, sponsored by Roger Williams Park Zoo, all morning long. We've been celebrating the return of October and the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular at the zoo. Brendan is there and we're checking in with him one last time. Brendan, what do you got for us now? Hey, Ash, well, we're having a great time here at Roger Williams Park Zoo, checking out the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, which, of course, launched last night and runs through, appropriately, Halloween, which I think is on the 31st this year. So joining me right now to talk more about the community support of citizens and what they mean to this whole event is Katie Soares from Citizens. Good morning, Katie. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure to have you here. What do you do for Citizens? So I am our public affairs market manager for Rhode Island and Connecticut market. So a lot of our grant making uh, in the local area. So excited to support events like this in the zoo. So yeah, talk a little bit, if you could, about really why it is so important for Citizens to really continue to support the community. That connection between organizations like yourself and the one and the people that, you know, the fabric of Rhode Island, I know is a strong one and one that you value and appreciate. Yeah, it really is. I mean, Citizens is just committed to supporting our communities where uh, we live and work, and the zoo is such a great example of one of those partnerships. I mean, their education programs, their award-winning programming, the care they do for the animals, all of that really just makes them an excellent partner for us, and not to mention super great events like the Jack Lantern Spectacular that we get to partner with them on. Totally, and I know it means even more when the event has some type of cultural significance. And, and what event is more Rhode Island and more, you know, rooted in the, the, the ocean state and 
what we look forward to every fall than this. So talk about why the initiative is so important and why you really want to support those things that truly make a difference because that kind of takes it to the next level, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. I mean, that is very important. And I think too, this is just such an event that is embedded in Rhode Island, Rhode Island culture. I think people, you know, look forward to this event year after year. I can't tell you the number of people who have told me that this is their most favorite event of the year. And we were saying the weather has turned. It has become fall seemingly, you know, with the flip of a switch. And I think that really adds to the ambiance and the atmosphere as well. I know we're having a great time here this morning. Right, totally. I mean, last week it was 75 and here we are in coats. So I really swear <laughs> they put the pumpkins up and fall decided to show up. So. Someone has a giant switch somewhere, I think. <laughs> but the theme is a lot of fun. Are you a music fan, music lover? I am, I am. I love walking through, you know, the trail. I think it's really special that we get to walk through it this year and really get to study these intricately carved pumpkins. I mean, they are some very cool ones. Some music ones, I saw Beauty and the Beast, which was a favorite uh, childhood movie, which has some great tunes in it as well. So there's some great pumpkins out there. Outstanding. Did you happen to see the, the Roadshow one? Uh, you know, I did see the Roadshow one. It is very special. Might look good in your office. Yeah, I think so, actually. <laughs> we'll take it after the fact. <laughs> you you to... might want to have it. <laughs> you can have it in November. I'm not sure you'd want it then. But really, uh, in summation here, Katie, just overall, it just I know it means a lot to citizens, and it means a lot to us as well that you could be here. So thank you for being with us. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. We're really pleased to support an event like this. You bet. Katie Soares from Citizens, you guys. It doesn't happen without the support of everyone really rallying and coming together. Don't forget, how could you? We've been telling you all morning. You know about it year after year. It's the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular right here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. you got to get your tickets ahead of time if you want to come out. We'll have more information at roadshow.com.